Alright, hello Internet and welcome again to yet another Unity tutorial. Uh, this time we will look at generic uh, lists. There, This is basically the third video in sort of like a series, but I try to make them as independent as possible. But if you want to check out the last two, the links should be here and here. Um, other than that, you can just uh, tag along for this one. Um, basically, we have this script that spawns in four different prefabs in four set uh, locations. This, uh, it's always going to be the same one. So, to make this um, to make this uh, uh, better, or maybe it will help more people if we could add some random locations to these cubes. So we're gonna make a generic list. We're gonna be using system collections generic for this. I don't like adding the whole thing because we only need the generic. Let's just make it as uncomplicated as possible. And we'll just start off by making a list of vector threes. And let's call it uh, positions. And make a new list. Vector new list of vector threes parentheses and semicolon. That's yeah. If we go back to Unity here, you should see the new array coming up here. Uh, this is not the same as an array like we did last time. We just manually entered four here and we drag and dropped all the different prefabs onto here. This one we're going to populate using the script only. Hold on, there we go. Um, so we are going to just get rid of this and we're going to start by populating the list with different positions. So we're going to call it for int i equals 0, uh, i less than 5, i plus plus. And then we're gonna do it again with J, just to make it. So basically, this is X axis and this is um, Z axis. So zero J less than five J plus plus. Maybe there we go. Oh, that's a four too many. Um, and now we're gonna add um, objects or like vectors to the list and you can use so chord we call it pos pos and you just pos.add and you can add a new vector 3 and that's why we have the for loop oh, sorry this needs an int that's why we have the for loop so we the x-axis we go with uh, i plus times say 100 float and we add 100 so we don't get to zero the middle one was 25f just to keep it level with the terrain and the last one the z-axis is j times 100f plus 100f just to avoid the zero and that should do it so if we go back to Unity now, you should see we have a big list of different positions that the cubes can spawn in on. They are all, they're not random, but like they're all different, I mean. So let's go back to the script and we want to instantiate a random or a set number of uh, cubes but we want to make it easy to adjust the amount of uh, cubes that we spawn in and we also want them all to end up in a different position or a random position rather but no one should be in the same position so we need to make a script or a function um, public int get new position we want to make an int for our position let's call it new 
us and this is a random range from 0 to 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 to, to pass and uh, it's called count uh, this is the amount of um, amount of uh, vector trees in the list so we get a random number from 0 to the amount so it will always be a position associated with the number we're randomizing and we basically just want to return this number and that's it and we also need a method or function to spawn in some crates so let's call it spawn crates and here we also want a parameter for the amount of crates we want to spawn in um, and also we're noticing we don't want to spawn more crates than we have uh, available positions so we will firstly check if the amount exceeds the uh, the count of the positions we have. If that happens, we'll just debug it for now. Debug uh, too many uh, crates. But if we do have enough positions, we want to start spawning in crates. And we want to spawn in as many crates as we have listed up here in the amount. So 4 in i equals 0, i is less than amount, i plus plus, we want to instantiate a cube of a random range, because we basically don't, we basically, with this random range, we are um, instantiating a random one of the, of the, cubes from down here so we can get the same color every time or sometimes or none of either color that's why we need to keep this within the boundaries of our um, game object uh, array so let's so just say cubes dot length basically oh my god length basically this cubes dot length is the same as the post dot count but for the list they use count and for the arrays they use length don't ask why it's that's just the way it is uh, we want this in uh, one of our predetermined positions which is the post list but we want it in a random one and that's why we had to get new pass so maybe we should get a new position oh actually that has to be inside here so we get that in position or brand pos equals get new pos so basically here we're calling this function we made here and which will return a new position for us or a, a new index so we use this position as the index here brand pos and we add the regular rotation to the cube. No one alter that just now or at all. Um, and most importantly we don't want two cubes to or three cubes for that matter to spawn in the same position. So we need to go to pass and um, how's this work? Uh, remove and we will remove the item is in uh, will be we want to remove pass as round pass if that makes any sense so we access the, the list we remove the list item with the index of the random one that we just spawned in so we don't get another one in the same position yeah that works or should work anyway I might jinx it so all we have to do now should be to spawn the crates and type in a random number. Let's say we want 10 crates. Uh, let's see if this works. 
works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be ten. Perfect. Uh, if we do it again, it should be a different pattern. And again, random every time. Um, if we go back here and spawn in zero crates, you can also you can also see that our list of uh, of uh, positions are uh, or contains 24 or 25 elements if you count zero. So what we want to check is if we add try to add 26 spawn crates that should not work, right? So let's see. Not work, and it says down here too many crates, which is good. So that's what we wanted. So let's put it down to 25. All of the positions we preset works, and the position list is empty. It means that means we have used up all of our positions. I do not know why I did air quotes right then. Let's try 15, should leave us with 10 available positions. Element 9 should be at the bottom, and it is. Seems that everything is working as intended. So that means this is the end of the tutorial. Hopefully this will help some of you with something related to this in any way possible. And if you just watched this and are curious to what we did earlier, if some pieces are missing, just go back and watch those tutorials. And if you have any other requests for tutorials, feel free to ask. I might be able to help you and make a tutorial designed for that particular question. Um, and that's it. Have a good day.